I must say, this has not been a good week for the Pope. Check this out. Pope Francis commissioned report to attack sex abuse victims while Archbishop of Buenos Aires. Now check this out, what it says here. It says that Pope Francis commissioned a four-book study in 2010 as Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Buenos Aires, attacking sexual abuse victims and defending a priest convicted of molesting a teenage boy. Francis, who was then known as Cardinal Jorge Bergoglio, asked a lawyer and jurist by the name of Marcello Sansonetti to carry out a more than 2,600-page study encompassing four volumes for the Argentinian Episcopal Conference to discredit the alleged victims of Father Julio Cesar Gassi. You know, it's bad enough this Pope and all previous Popes have defended these child molesters for literally all of what they claim are their religious lives, but... To claim the victims were lying just to get the priest that molested them in trouble is downright demonic. You know, as the article stated, even though then Cardinal Bergoglio, also known as Pope Francis today, even though he commissioned a 2,600-page report slamming the victims to try and help a child molester escape jail, the court didn't fall for it, and the priest was convicted and sentenced to 15 years in prison. You know, what most fail to realize is, as I posted in a video years ago when the Pope was first elected, as Cardinal, he made it possible for homosexuals to have legal civil unions in Argentina. This is why he defends these child molesters to this day, and the fact that he's pro-homosexual on top of it. What's really shameful today is, when he was approached not too long ago about his involvement in the current molestation scandal, he declared boldly he wasn't going to say one word about it. But when he finally did decide to speak out on it, he again chose to defend the child molesters by slamming the priests in his own Vatican that outed him, acting as if they were the ones in sin, for exposing the ones that were molesting the children and allowing them to be molested. The man of sin is most assuredly exposed even in the eyes of most Catholics today. And it is just as the prophet Daniel stated long ago, When speaking of the popes in Rome, he said in Daniel 11, verse 37, that neither shall he regard the God of his fathers, nor the desire of women, nor regard any God, for he shall magnify himself above all. In this one prophecy alone, we see three main fruits of the popes of Rome are as follows. Number one, they have recently been exposed as devil worshippers, which means they do not worship the God of their fathers, nor regard any God for that matter. Number two, 98% of the Vatican prelates are in fact homosexual, which plainly means they have no desire for women, as Daniel said. And finally, number three, all popes have declared themselves God on earth in writing, thereby magnifying themselves above the God of the Bible. Christian prophecy is that accurate. Thank you for watching. God bless.